Hey, thanks for joining us. I'm Joe Cortez, joined by Ron Augustini and James Burns of FrontRowPreps.com, coming to you this week from American Chevrolet in Modesto, California. American Chevrolet, our first ever sponsor here at Front Row Preps. Time now for our weekly predictions brought to you by Golden Bear Physical Therapy. We're going to look at five games this week, and we're going to start with our Thursday night matchup, Pittman High taking on Davis of Yolo County. Uh, they're playing Thursday night because as uh, the runner-up in that league, Turlock gets to host the game on Friday night. Who do you like in this Thursday matchup between Pittman and Davis? I like the Blue Devils from the, the Delta League. Uh, I think that loss last week to Turlock, uh, Pittman's loss to, to Turlock in the Harvest Bowl, that might be too much to overcome for them, at least emotionally. You know, I think, uh, as, as Ron has often said here, you know, you had the eyes of Turlock looking at you, and it was time to put on a show, and, and really, you know, the streaker saw more of the field than the Pittman offense. And, uh, and I, I, like, I like Davis in this one. And they come from a tough league. They've got a, a, a do-it-all th uh, threat in Payne Barksdale, a kid that's got over 1,300 all-purpose yards, 18 touchdowns. Uh, I think the Blue Devils win on Thursday. Ron, what about you? I like Pittman in this game. Uh, they went through a major disappointment the other night uh, against Turlock. There was a big build-up for that Harvest Bowl game, and it was a, a crushing loss for them. I don't think they went their season in that way. I think they're going to bounce back and uh, have a great effort. I think they're going to they're going to beat Davis. I'm with Ron on this one. I think there's going to be a, a, a real bounce back here. I don't think that I don't think they want to end on that note. I think playing at home helps them. And also, they were able to process, start processing that loss early. That game was over early. Right? It was it was decided at halftime. And I think they were able to kind of process some things. And, you know, if it had been a, a last-second field goal, that, that's kind of crushing, and I think that lingers with you. There was no doubt about this one for a while that night. I think they would be able to kind of purge it from their system, and they'll beat the, the Blue Devils this week. You know, I, I would be with you if they had Denzel Steckler, the wide receiver. I, yeah. I think a, a talent like that where you can stretch the defense, take some of the pressure off Peyton Bass, take some of the pressure off Jacob Partita, and let that run game develop. I think he was a huge piece for him all season long. If you don't have huge, them, huge piece. Pittman doesn't have them on, on Friday night or Thursday night, and it, and it looks like they're not going to. Uh, you know, I, there's just no balance. There's not enough balance there for me. Uh, that, that, that's I a, hope that, I'm wrong. That's a big piece to lose. You're absolutely right. Um, but I'm sticking with, with Pittman on this one. Moving over to our Friday night slate, let's start with uh, Division Five, number nine, Oris Dimba, taking on number eight, Los Banas, in a battle of two front row region teams here. I just got done talking about balance, and I don't know that Or Stemba has the balance offensively to beat Los Banos right now. Los Banos is a team that's peaking. They've won six of seven. Really they've, hot right they, now. They've got it. They have that balance that we're looking for. Dasani take and stretch the field. He's got targets out wide, and then you've got the running back in Justin uh, Inca Park, who has rushed for maybe 500 yards in the last few weeks, all told. And I, I'm going to go with the Red Hot Tigers in this one. Ron. Yeah, they uh, Or Stemba slipped a little bit after their really tough loss to Rupert Christian. And uh, I and Los Banos is coming off a great win over Pacheco. I like Los Banos too. I think they're going to carry that momentum right into the first round. I'm with you guys. We'll make it three in a row here. I'm with Los Banos in this one. Um, Division four, another Los Banos team, the aforementioned Pacheco Panthers, number eight, hosting number nine Sierra. This is a rematch between a preseason game this year. Pacheco really put it to the Timberwolves. Panthers won that game 31-14. This is a different, this is a different Pacheco team, and this is a different Sierra team. By all accounts, Sierra has gotten stronger and better as the seasons wore on. They're Why does five, that sound familiar, Bernie? They're, they're five and five. Last time they were five and five, going into a, a Division Four playoff, they got hot at the right moment and rolled to a state title. Yeah. But let, my my concern in this game is really with Pacheco. And what's what's going on off the field around that yeah. program? The external stripe that they face coming out of that crosstown clash. You know, there were parents. And, and adults crying for David Snap's job after he led them to an historic season. They won their first league title. Let's not forget that. And they've got games to play. And you've right. got parents and adults in that community who are trying to steal from that moment, steal from this team. You know, I hope that strife hasn't hasn't seeped its way into the locker room. Uh, I'm going to go with the Panthers because I think I believe in that talent. I believe in David Snap. Uh, it'll, it should be a good game, though. Two different teams from when they played earlier in the year. Yeah. We've seen this before in the playoffs, where the rematch is a little bit closer yeah. in, in the playoffs, but because the teams do change, I still like the shakeout. So I think they're, they're going to find a way to, to, to win this game. Excellent. 
I agree. I think Pacheco is a hot team. I think they ran into a hotter team in Los Banos last week. But let me just say, David Snap, one of the great guys that we get to deal with Amen. year in and year out, and a heck of a football coach. Moving on to uh, Division one, number nine, Gregory, number eight, nine matchup. Uh, another one here, number nine, Gregory, at number eight, Edison of Stockton, coming off its first league title, its first SJAA title in quite some time. It's been a long time for Edison, uh, in decades, I believe. You, I, you might have to go back to the late 70s. Wow. If Edison had a had this good of a season. Well, back when you were a Cub. Well, back when I was a uh, uh, wet behind the ears reporter. Um, I like Edison to win this game over Gregory. I think they're going to do it. I'm going to go with the road team in this one. I, I like the Jaguars to pick up their first ever road playoff win. I think that uh, they're doing a big game. You know, we were looking for the, they had won four straight games er, earlier in the season. We thought they might be a player in the CCAL, and then they hit a rough patch. I like them to figure it out this week and get it done. I agree. I'm going with the Jaguars in this one. I think they're a little more battle tested than Edison, having come through the it was really a tough CCAL. And speaking of the CCAL, the CCAL champions. First ever CCAL champions. Number six, Turlock, plays host to number 11, Kasumnas Oaks, at Joe Devlin Stadium on Friday night. Burns I like the Bulldogs to get past the first round for the second time in three years. That performance that they put on last week defensively against Pittman at 9 and 18 was, was probably the best that we've seen all season long. I mean, we have, we've had some really good defensive performances, uh, some stout defenses in our region. But that performance, that four-quarter performance against, Pitt, against Pittman was absolutely impressive. I like them to get it done. I, li I like Turlock, too. They've had some success in the first round recently, and I, I think they're going to the team will win. This I like Turlock as well. You know why I like Turlock? Because Joe Davis Stadium is about six blocks from my front door. It's an easy assignment. <laughs> Very for convenient. I like to, but you know what? The wild card here is Jonas Osakiewicz, the Polish Eagle. The quarterback there rolled his ankle late in the uh, Harvest Bowl victory against Pittman. He's uh, he should be ready to go, but there is uh, just a bit of uncertainty there. So that's it for our playoff predictions. Brought to you by Golden Bear Physical Therapy for James Burns, Ron Agostini. I'm Joe Cortez. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that.